that fence has to be dead accurate. If there's any shifting with the belt feed, if the fence is not square or adjusted to the, to the right width, that can result in, at the end of the day, have a door that's a 30 second further out than you planned. Traditionally, shapers will have a fence on the finished side. The problem with that is it can, it can cause inconsistencies because the raw material may not always have the same width. So then the question was, was there something that we could do better? The mini molder is a shaper to put the profile on the rails and styles. The outboard fence is what is driving the quality of this machine. You're referencing off the outside, the mini molder is determining the width of your part. It's got great tolerances. We never have any issues with the tolerances. The parts are within a few thousandths of an inch. So the spindle that we use has the capability of 12,000 RPM so that our customers have the ability to run at higher RPMs to create a better quality cut. I think where it really fits in well is if you're a company that has a high variety of product offering and does a lot of custom size doors, custom rail widths, that kind of thing. Uh, whether it's hardwoods, uh, softwoods, or even poly. The single greatest thing about this machine is the ease in changing the, the tooling. It's an HSK head, it just pops in and out. The whole idea of this machine is to have something that will reduce setups. If you're doing a lot of custom work, this can really be a huge benefit. Before we had this machine, we're doing everything on the molder. Let's say we have a custom job of 30 doors, you know, in, in either an odd species or a framing bead that we don't stock. We're setting up the molder for that, running the material. If we would underestimate or have a lower yield than expected on that job, we're now setting up the molder again to run one or two sticks. If we can now transfer that job to the ideal machine, it saves on yield and multiple setups on the molder. Customers love the solid tabletop on our mini molder. It's smooth, it's true, and it will create a consistent product every time. The hopper feed's great because you can run a bunch of parts at once. You've got a good belt feed that will keep that part in place the entire time. Stack them up, you know, largest to smallest, and just run. Without having to go back and forth on both sides to feed one piece through and then receive it, or have a receiver and uh, someone feeding the machine. They can put a whole stack in there and then go to the other side and receive it. The other thing that's great about this machine is the software. It's well designed, you've got any kind of adjustments and presets that you could think of. So here at IDEO, we strive to build machinery that will better people's lives and make it easier for our customers to produce a high quality product in an efficient manner. If you'd like more information, or you're ready to make a purchase, contact us here at IDEO Machine, and we would love to get you a quote or connect you with a dealer.